What is up guys? This is Kenneth and you're watching Tungs TV. What is up guys? On this video, I will be giving you the things to consider before breeding superworms. Things and the materials we need before starting a superworm farm. So let's get into it. So first, we have to address the reasons why we are going to breed superworms. Is it for farming and selling them to exotic pet owners or is it, is it to feed your own pets? Why do we need to address this? It is because the amount of breeders you produce will affect the amount of superworms you will produce. If you produce a mass amount of breeders, you will produce lots of superworms. If you produce few breeders, you will produce fewer superworms so you will not get too many superworms for just if you're just going to feed it to your pet when talking about breeders it means the beetles and the beetles are the adult versions of our superworms we need the beetles for starting to breed them and to produce more so now that you know the reason we need a suitable place where to put your superworm farms First, we need to consider the place where you put your breeders. It's not directly hit by the sun to prevent heat stroke and will not be wet when it rains. I prepare a small hut under the trees or some breeders put them inside their houses. Now, how to have some breeders? What should we do? We need to isolate superworms we want to be breeders. They should be 2 inches or more or kind of fat to have a better chance of them turning into beetles. So why do we need to isolate the worms? It is because superworms are also carnivorous and will eat some of the worms that turn into pupa. So we need these things. A piece of thyme. This thyme is for the veggies for their water source. We place the water source on top of it so that it cannot touch the feeds to prevent molds. We cannot place a water bowl in the breeder bin. Beetles might fall into it and drown. Chicken feeds. These chicken feeds are for newly hatched chicks that I use for our beetles. Next is we put the cardboard strips for them to lay their eggs into it. Then on top of it, we put an egg tray for their heights. We have to wait another 2 weeks for the beetles to mature and start laying eggs. Next thing is we will check the cardboard strips if they are full of eggs. Then replace the strips with new ones. We place the old cardboard strips full of eggs to another container. When the babies hatch, they go to the bottom of the container. And at this point, we can harvest them and put to another container with feeds and a piece of cabbage their water source. Just grow them out until the appropriate size you need. And there you go! I would like to thank our 1,484 subscribers. Thank you for subscribing to our channel. And if you're not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Shout out to Supermoto and Sprinkle the Sparkle. Links in the description. Also follow them and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be updated on our latest videos. That's all for now. Thank you.